Hatsi and I am back with my first dream home for my Hatsi Homes house series. So of course this one is called the Conley's dream home because it was made for the Conley family and I have to thank Michaela Elise for making the amazing, amazing family. If you want to go and check out their gallery profile, the links will be below. I'm following them on the Sims 4 gallery now because I am just absolutely in love with the household that they made and if they make any future households then I really want to see them. But this house is going to be for their family. So the family consists of three women. There's a single mother of two, and of course she has the two children. It's similar to how my pomegranate's LP, the family works in that, and I loved that. I thought it was really, really cute. So the description is, knocked up as a teen with her first daughter having her second with her ex-husband. This single mother wants to finally settle down and find the one. With a loan from her wealthy parents, a budget of 700,000 should be enough for a modern suburban three bedroom and three bathroom house with a gourmet kitchen and an art studio. An autistic mother, a hopeless romantic teen that loves to cook, and a young child that loves to follow after her mother. These girls can't wait to have their new house. Hashtag Hatsy Homes. So I absolutely love that description and I just thought that this house would be very fitting towards them. I actually created this house before I created the family and I was half finished through it and I thought this house would really, really suit them and what I would imagine them to live in or want to live in. So it is way under budget, which is fantastic because it means they've got loads of money to do what they want with. And this house is the most expensive I could make it, I think. But it does have three bedrooms and three bathrooms. I think it actually included a bush outside, which I'm passing off as a bathroom. So you'll probably see that when we do the interior. Now the good thing about these dream homes is I have really listened to what you've all been saying. A lot of you have wanted me to do part one and part two together in my builds and I thought with this series it would be perfect because the houses that I'm creating aren't time consuming at all. In fact, it probably takes me an hour to do the exterior and then another hour to do the interior. So it's perfect because it probably takes about 20 minutes to do a video and I think that that's a really cool thing to have. So hopefully that'll make some of you happy to know that it's not gonna be part ones and part twos, it's gonna be all together. So in this video as well, you'll be seeing the interior and you won't have to wait like a week for it. So it'll be there and hopefully that should be quite a nice thing. But the house itself is a very orange brick home. I created a house like this a while ago and I shared it to the Sims 4 gallery. But the problem is when I create things on the Sims 4 gallery, maybe months ago, they often don't get seen. And also on YouTube, I wanted you to all see what the house was like. because it's actually one of my favorite houses that I created. So yeah, I wanted to recreate a house which was similar to it, but not so similar in the way that it is. It's really different, but color wise and layout wise is a little bit similar. But I think I've improved a lot in seven months going back to the way that I do things now. I just think it's just really different. So yeah, I was pretty happy with that. I also changed the plot that the house was on. So you'll see that during the end, I did move it several times. I was very, very excited to see the other entries in the gallery though. So thank you so much for everybody, for your families and things. Now this doesn't mean that I'm not gonna be doing any more dream homes because I've actually got another one lined up after this one. So in a week's time, in a week from now, you'll be seeing the second dream home and that's gonna keep going. Now I've had some questions as to like where the families are going to be, like if I'm going to pick families from a week ago or if I'm just gonna be picking relevant families that were made a couple of days ago. Honestly, I'm not gonna look at it like that. I might go back and pick families that have been made months ago. It just depends, it just depends what I want to do. And sometimes I save families as well. I've probably got about 50 families in my catalog alone now, which I've just saved and I favorited some of them as well. So if you're curious as to which ones I've favorited, they'll be on my gallery account and you can go and see them. And yeah, I'm just gonna see how it goes. But if I feel like creating a certain house one day, then I will try and find a family which fits that exact description. So don't worry too much if your family hasn't been picked. It's not because your family's worse than anybody else's. I don't want anybody to think like that because it is just a little bit of a challenge. It's supposed to be a fun thing. And yeah, just stick around and I might pick your family. So at this point, what was happening? I was adding the bay window because I haven't I haven't bought in a bay window for a while now. I really, really haven't. In fact, it's been a very, very long time since I've used a bay window. So I was very happy to be able to use it in this build. I was experimenting with the windows. I wanted to make the house modern. And I thought with a suburban house, I think the word suburban made me think of a, of course, suburban home. So what I imagine to be a typical suburban house is a house like this. And of course, you won't really see a house like this in real life, but it's The Sims, you know, we make do. 
and I didn't want to go too modern because I thought with the word suburb and I thought maybe I would go modern on the inside. So that's what I did. I think I will be doing some modern houses for this build series as well because it's really what I imagine the family to live in. So I really liked that idea and I hope that you're all going to like it as well. And I was going around, I was picking the wallpapers out. I love the stoning from The Sims 4 Get Together. That is another thing as well. If you don't have certain expansion packs, stuff packs or game packs, don't worry. If you write it on the description, then I will try my best to make a house without those things so that you can enjoy the house that I make for your Sims as well. I want to pay close attention to that because I do think it's important to involve everybody and if you're making base game Sims, I do want to make some base game homes. So I will take note of that. And yeah, I mean, if you are interested, in participating then I will try and fit around you as much as possible. Also, I've been wanting to brighten a lot of people's walls, so I've got a lot of questions uh, just on my creations, like uh, just questions about the competition and things. If you want a response from me on the gallery, because I will respond to you because I always respond on The Sims 4 gallery, or mostly I do anyway, because I'm always on there. So if you do, then you have to make sure that your gallery is public, because even though it, it appears that you can write on your gallery wall, others can't, so it appears completely private to me and I can't write on it. So if you do want that, then yeah, let me know. But anyway, at this point, what I was doing is I was putting in some landscaping at the front. I went for white. I always get yellow and white confused. I was just about to say yellow then. I always did it as a child as well. My mum would ask me what colour something is and I would always say it's yellow but it was actually white or vice versa. And it's just really odd because even though I can see the colour clearly, I always get those words mixed up. I have no idea why. Anyway, I didn't say it so let's move on. So what I was doing is I was trying to work around the garage as well. I love garages. I love it. I love it as we go on to The Sims and you know we move on with time and stuff and, and no cars are coming out. I just think adding our own garages in and making do with our own features. If only we could just make our own toddlers, right? If only we could just make them out of objects and just make them work or something. I have no idea, but at least we can put garages in there and at least we can enlarge cars and stuff to make it look like we do have those things. So yeah, what I was also doing is I was making the landscaping look very, very big. I know that a lot of you have missed the landscaping that I've been doing, or at least I did a while ago. And I do know that my style has changed a little bit, but I'm trying to do new things. I think that doing different things will keep a lot of you interested because some people don't like a lot of landscaping, some people do. And that's why if you do put the family on the Sims 4 gallery, if you let me know what you want the house to look like, I will have a really, really good idea of what it's going to look like. If you put things like no landscaping, or if you put things like loads of landscaping, then that will mean, okay, that's great because that means that I can go crazy with the landscaping or not go so crazy with the landscaping. And yeah, everything's a challenge. Also, really, really odd houses. I really want to create an alien spaceship at some point. So that's hopefully gonna be a dream home for a family. I really, really hope I'll be able to do that because honestly, I've got a massive smile on my face now just while I'm thinking about it. I think that's gonna be so interesting seeing as how much hype has been about Star Wars recently too, so. Has hype been about Star Wars? I have no idea. I think there's always, always hype about Star Wars. I'm not even joking, it's all over the news, like constantly, I have no idea. But anyway, every single time I log on to Twitter, it is always, always there, like something about Star Wars, something or other, I have no idea. But anyway, so what I was doing is I was finishing off the front. I actually put some trees around, but I think you'll see that later on. And you can see the other house, which I created a really long time ago in the background. So the modern house is right next to this home. It's so cute there. I love it. I absolutely love it. I love that modern house. It's actually probably one of my favorite modern houses. It got loads of downloads on the Sims 4 gallery. I was like, what? That's insane, because <laughs> my, my houses and stuff, they often get like maybe a couple of thousand downloads, but I think that one got like five or 6,000 downloads, which is absolutely incredible. So yeah, really thankful to everybody that favorited and downloaded that house, because that was really, really sweet of you. And this was the outside, the back garden now. I think this would be a really cool area for the girls just to hang out in the back garden. And yeah, I can imagine some teen parties going on here as well. With a hopeless romantic, I just think this is really cute. And she could, I don't know, she could have some friends over. There could be some potential soulmates here, I don't know. <laughs> but I just think it's really fun to think about. I think it's fun to imagine how this garden would look with the family in. Of course, if you do download the family and you do download the house, I would love to see some screenshots on Twitter, just let me know and you can tag me in them because 
I absolutely adore that every single time and I will retweet it because I just love it so much and I want everybody else to see it as well. So <laughs> I was finishing off the concrete here. I think concrete looks really ugly on buildings. I do. And for some reason in my local town in England, well, where I used to live in England, it just used to be a common theme. Every single place they could put concrete, they put it. And these buildings were so, so ugly. I hate those multi-story car parks. I get really scared inside them as well, like when I have to gain park in them and the ones in England are just made out of concrete just all over. It's just so ugly. But yeah, so concrete flooring I got rid of and I put some stone on the floor there and I thought that looked quite nice. And I put some rose petals in the pool because I thought being women, I don't know. I think like rose is quite a feminine plant or flower rather. So I don't know, I was thinking about that. I was thinking how I can make the garden look a little bit more feminine. Of course, it doesn't have to be feminine. It can be quite masculine as well because roses can be a sign of Spanish dance. Is that not right? I have no idea. But yeah, so my husband loves flowers actually. He always buys me flowers and it always makes me smile because I love, love, love it when he buys me flowers. He always brings me back flowers as well. In fact, his work colleagues recently got us some flowers from when we got married and it was really cute. So I was very happy with that. And what I was doing at this point is I made something really crazy in the middle of the garden, so I hope you can like it. If you don't, then you can just move it if you like. I don't mind if you want to move it, but I thought that looked quite nice. I don't know what it reminded me of. It just reminded me of maybe a really fancy garden, and I thought with them being quite a wealthy family, and maybe the grandparents would come and visit. I think the garden was pretty much finished after this point, though, and what I was doing is I was going around putting some lights in because that's always really important. If you do build like me and you do forget the light, sometimes it can be a little problematic if people download the house on the Sims Hall Gallery. It can mean that they don't see every single detail at night. So it's always nice to put some lights in and that's what I do there. This was the interior. So moving on now, we have some really, really spacious rooms downstairs. I wanted to make the rooms as spacious as I possibly could because I love the idea of having really, really big rooms. And I wanted a massive overhang as well. The inside was going to be very modern. I think I mentioned that though, but I really can't remember. I mentioned so many things in these videos. Honestly, I just can't even remember sometimes. I have to look back at the videos and think, did I talk about that? And I always see comments referring to things I've said in the videos. And I was thinking, did I say that? I can't remember it. But yeah, so this was the overhang. I thought of having a glass overhang. I actually changed the color scheme round. I think about maybe halfway through doing the hallway. That's when I started to change things round. I also decided to do the whole house at sort of a similar time, if that makes sense. So instead of just going on the bottom floor and just making the rooms and then going up to the top floor later, I did it all at the same time. So the lights went in, the floorboards went in. That's something that I've started to do recently. And I actually think it's a really good idea if you want to do that similar to how I do it. And the reason I say that is because sometimes it's nice and you can match things very easily by doing it. So you can match the lights as you go along and you can make everything flow in together. Rather than doing each individual room and having to click back on several screens and things, I think it's just so much easier. So if you're wondering or if you're looking for a little hack there, how to make it a little bit faster when you're decorating, then do it all together. Do the floor, do the walls all together. So don't just do individual rooms. So I'm happy that I'm not doing them anymore. But anyway, what I was doing is I was putting in some doors. I had brightened up the house by this point and everything was looking pretty good. I do wish that we had some more choicing with lights because I don't particularly like dangling lights. And I mean, I do, but just not too dangly. And also when the Sims walk past or when I'm taking screenshots, the lights can sometimes interfere with things. We do actually have some hidden lights. If you enter in the cheats, uh, unlock hidden objects, I think the lights come up in the hidden light menu. But I really, really wish that they got perfected because I feel like they're really difficult to have in a house. And the reason is because you can see them in build mode, which I hate. I really hate it because I'm on build mode a lot, as you can imagine. <laughs> so it's really, really difficult to do that. I was also paying close attention to the budget at this point. So I was making sure that the house was quite expensive. I really did have fun because it meant that having a larger budget meant that I could of course have more freedom with putting things in so I really enjoyed doing that but when it comes to other families in the future if I'm going with tighter budgets I think that could be so interesting equally because it means I have to really concentrate and really make sure that everything is a cheaper price and I love that so definitely going to be doing some starter homes and things in this series because I'm looking at all different houses you know even mansions and stuff maybe with a mansion if I did like a 64 by 64 plot mansion then it would be really difficult to do it in 
one part, but I might have to split that in two. Bear with me if that happens. But yeah, we'll just have to see what happens. Anyway, this was the hallway. This was the point when I started to decide that I was really, really hating on the plain colour. I thought that it was nice, but it was just too, too boring for me. And I didn't want that. You can change it back if you don't want it like that. But I thought I would make the house more girly. Especially having three girls living here, I would imagine so much girl power in the hallway. So I thought, yeah, how can I incorporate that in? And I thought some pinks, purples, blues, and just make some really pretty colours in the hallway. That's what I decided to do. It just so happened that we had a lot of objects which sort of matched each other, so I really liked that. This was the art studio, so of course in the description it said about her or the mum having an art studio. So I wanted to make sure there was an art studio in here. I thought a really nice way to make it sort of family orientated in here was to have three canvases, so or three easels rather, not canvases, three easels. But I put three in here because I would expect the mum to maybe want to teach her two daughters how to make some really cool paintings and things on the easels. So I think that's a really nice idea. And it also means that it's a family thing that they could all do together. And I just love that. So that's why I included that in. I would love to see them being used and how it would look. Here I was trying to incorporate some fancy paintings around. I thought because the mum was artistic, I thought what would be a really cool thing to have is to have loads of just creative things around the house, which would be modern, but would just look really crazy and just different. So I did it in the art room, but I also did it throughout the house. So the modern touches of the house are just very artsy to me. It just feels like a really cluttered art studio and I love that because it's just typically what I would imagine an art studio to look like. In fact, my old art studio at school didn't look too dissimilar from this because we had similar canvases and yeah, there was just stuff all over the walls. There was stuff absolutely everywhere to be quite honest. But I changed the gingham on the wall so you'll notice that as well because I did have some gingham on there. And I think that I've had an attachment with gingham for probably my whole life. My mum and my grandma always used to decorate my bedrooms and my sister's bedroom for us. And we used to have gingham things in there just because it was a really easy material to get hold of. So we used to end up with like a gingham bed, gingham dressing table, gingham chairs, <laughs> gingham walls, gingham curtains. And it was just absolutely insane. Anyway, the lounge in here, I changed the colour too. So I went with a yellow colour. I always think that having yellow in a house is just a very confident colour and if I ever saw yellow in somebody's lounge I would just think they're a confident person like they have a confident personality and I would expect them to be quite a bright and positive person and that's absolutely crazy to make that sort of accusation about anybody but I just think having yellow in your house on your walls is just a really really adventurous colour to have so yeah that's what I was thinking about here I thought this would just look like a very friendly family atmosphere and I thought with the mum being an artist it would be a really fun thing to have there. I also think the mismatched colours look really really good in this sort of room so the pinks, the yellows, the blues, the oranges, just every single colour you can see. I really liked it, it reminded me of Minnie Mouse's house when I was younger at Disney World and I absolutely adored that. Anyway, this was the kitchen. The kitchen was a very, very plain room. It's probably not one of my favourite rooms and I don't know, I'm running out of counters. I was a little bit disappointed a while ago and I have never mentioned this. I've had lots of time to talk about this yet, I just haven't spoken about it. But when we got the cool kitchen stuff pack, I think that's what it's called, I was a little bit disappointed because I just felt like there wasn't enough kitchen counters there and it just wasn't what I was expecting. And yeah, I would have loved something more than that and I'm just really, really hoping that with the new restaurant game pack and also the kids stuff pack, which we're going to get soon, I really, really hope that they'll add some more things there because, I don't know, I'm just running out of stuff to put in the kitchens. Same with bedrooms, but I just made an unusual floor pattern in here just because it looked very abstract and interesting. So that's what I did. But I would love some more options for kitchens because I think the counters, I would love to play around with the colours. Now, I don't know how many people remember this, but for the romantic stuff pack, I think we had those child bars and I think you remember them if you looked at the stuff pack. Yeah, they're the child bars with the ivory around them, but they don't look that dissimilar to the ones that we already had. And that's what worried me. So just getting colour changes, I just really dislike the thought of that. So I really hope they won't do that with other stuff. So I hope we get some brand new counters at some point. I don't know, some traditional ones, some cool ones. I would just love it because I'm running out. I'd love some textured colours, like the things that we got with the Get Together expansion pack. 
the stone that we got with that. I would absolutely love some stone things. But anyway, this was a dining room. The dining room was a very glamorous room. I think that's the best way to describe it. I did try to keep with the colors. It was very artsy. I love the rug. It looks like somebody's splashed paint all over it and I just love the idea of having that. So I was definitely focusing on that throughout. I thought it was a really cool thing to have. And yeah, I just tried to put loads of details there. I hope you like it as well. I put a rug on top of a rug because I thought that would be a cool idea to have. So that's how I ended up leaving it. I just changed some colors to make it look more matching and I think that it is a really nice room. I actually think I could have probably just shared it as itself, but I never like to share just individual rooms on the Sims 4 gallery, just because it's just a preference. I don't like to do it. This was the upstairs hallway. So the upstairs hallway contains things like a chess table. It contains some base game paintings, some bookcases. I actually think that if you only had base game for this house and if you really wanted it, then it would be possible. Now I have known my house in the past maybe not be so playable just from base game, but all it means is that you can still download the houses but you just have to change some things around. Now somebody sent me a picture on Twitter of when they downloaded Hogwarts and Hogwarts was one of my builds and it's, I don't know, it's a big build and what happened was they downloaded it and they only had uh, some stuff packs, game packs, expansion packs, but they didn't have all of them and it replaced all the stones at the front for chairs and it looked absolutely crazy. But anyway, this was the bathroom here. The teenage room was very classic and I didn't want to go too pink for that or anything because I thought that just seeing the description and things and reading through it, I would assume the teenage girl to be quite mature. So I don't think that she would want anything too pink and maybe too childish. So that's why I gave her an adult room or at least a more adult room. So yeah, that's what she had. This was the mum's room. So the mum's room is very big, very artsy. It fits in with her personality, I think. I used some canvases in here too, or at least one canvas ended up being in here. And that was to keep with the theme of the home so she can paint loads of things at once. She just doesn't have to paint one thing on one canvas and she can just paint absolutely everywhere she wants to. Of course, it wouldn't be realistic to paint just underneath that really nice rug there because I would imagine loads of paint ending up on that. This was the children's bedroom though. The children's bedroom was quite small. I thought because of having a doll's house downstairs though I wouldn't need too many toys down here just because I love putting doll's houses downstairs. So I did that instead. I think that's how the room finished off and I was pretty happy with it. I think that the child would like it as well and you could also expand it into something else if you wanted to. But that is the end of the build. So I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see all future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all soon.